Today's journey takes us to Woodlawn Memorial Park in Gotha, Orange County, Florida. We are here today to visit the gentleman who entertained us with his dry wit, charm, and the painting of happy little trees, Bob Ross. Born in Daytona Beach, Florida, Mr. Ross had a gentle personality from the beginning, caring for injured animals as a child. He would drop out of high school in ninth grade and enlist in the United States Air Force at age 18. He rose through the ranks and became Master Sergeant. He was stationed in Alaska, which had picturesque views of snowy mountains, a theme that we would later see in his paintings. I thought it was interesting. He held positions in the military that required him to be gruff and have a tough demeanor. So when Ross left the military, he decided that he would no longer raise his voice, which would help explain his calming presence on his television show, The Joy of Painting. I mentioned that Ross was in the Air Force, but it is generally not known that he had a 20-year career there. During this time, he developed a fondness of art. While working as a bartender, he discovered a television show dedicated to painting by German instructor Bill Alexander. Ross would study Alexander's technique, which involved a style of painting that would yield very quick results. Obviously, Ross mastered the technique. He would start using the techniques to paint Alaskan landscapes on gold mining pans and his sales picked up greatly, so much so that his income from painting would pass his income from the military. He retired from the Air Force in 1981. It is unclear how exactly the Joy of Painting TV show started. It would run from 1983 to 1994, and nearly 30 years after the last show aired, reruns are still found on televisions all across America. The half-hour TV show, along with Bob's calming voice, provided joy and entertainment to those watching. He became known for his little sayings such as happy little trees and would often comment about how much he liked to clean his paintbrush. He launched his own line of art products, which itself would become a $15 million business. He would reference a letter that he received in which the writer told him that everything in his world seemed happy. He took great joy in that comment. On July 4th, 1995, Bob Ross passed away in Orlando, Florida from lymphoma. He was only 52. So today we make our way to Woodlawn Memorial Park in Gotha, Florida to pay our respects to Mr. Bob Ross. I want to hear your memories and read your thoughts on Bob Ross. Please comment below on whether or not you remember Mr. Ross or whether or not you have heard of him. Bob Ross is one of those simple entertainers that most everyone remembers with a smile. A great show, talented man, and a calm and welcoming demeanor has vaulted Mr. Ross into a cultural icon. All of my videos are cemetery related and there's going to be one popping up on your screen very soon. Please watch and subscribe for more. And once again, from Gotha, Florida, I will see you again soon.